Hello everybody, welcome back to CNS Corvettes in beautiful sunny Sarasota, Florida. This is your Corvette buddy Lyle, here to talk to you about more interesting, exciting, and hopefully helpful Corvette information. Uh, today we're going to do a really short little video review on the differences between the two major types of engine coolant that are used in Corvettes and most every American car. Um, so obviously antifreeze coolant it has one job. Its job is to mix with water and to regulate engines during extreme temperatures. Um, the color of the coolant tells you a great deal about what it's for and what it does. Uh, let's start with the green coolant because that was ubiquitous over over 60 years in this country. Um, that is an older formula made uh, specifically for engines that were built with more copper and steel componentry. Uh, it's fine for those engines, you don't need to change it, uh, you don't need to change what you're doing with that, but green is meant for the cars that had like cast iron blocks and had a lot more copper bushings in it rather than rubber or nylon. Uh, we recommend changing that out at uh, 36,000 miles or every three years. That is going to apply for your Corvette folks to years 1995 and back is going to use the green coolant. Orange coolant, on the other hand, uh, is a more modern formula uh, based around organic acid technologies. Um, the brand name for it is Dexcool. That's how GM markets it. Now, this change was necessitated because, as I stated earlier, the internal componentry of engines and cooling systems changed a lot in the mid to late 90s, and it necessitated changing the formulas in the coolant so that they were not um, hurting anything and actively protecting against corrosion on different materials. Uh, most of the materials we are dealing with in modern engines, like the LS engines, there's a lot more aluminum and a lot more nylon in them. And this particular coolant actually is healthier for them long term. Uh, they can go a lot longer. It's a little bit more uh, durable. So you can figure 50,000 miles in your car before having to change that particular coolant. The other question I get frequently is, I, I bought a car and it looks like somebody mixed the coolant. Is that okay? No. No, you do not want to mix the green and the orange coolant because together what they do is they can form a nasty chemical sludge that doesn't flow freely through your cooling system. And with all those tiny passageways in your radiator uh, and your heater core, you don't want those to get plugged up because obviously a fluid isn't flowing through there. Heat is neither being exchanged or output for your use and that can be a problem that even a flush might not be able to solve if you let it go long enough so if you're going to change if you've got the wrong coolant in your car or you're changing to the other coolant then you need to flush the system entirely with water first and then change out your system any questions about coolant any questions about this video feel free to visit me in the comments below let me know and i'll do my best to help you anyway Green coolant cars need to stay green, orange coolant cars need to stay orange, and you all need to stay safe. Enjoy your drive, have a great weekend.